chest beating club. You know, we were arrogant and I was a part of that. I don't think that this has been a well-run football club for some time. He obviously needs to shoulder some of the blame. There's some short-term security, but also a growing consensus in the media that it's not if, but when he will be shown the door. There's a part of me that goes like, what my life would be like if I wasn't Brody Grundy for Collingwood. Man button sort of guy. Right now, I'm pretty frustrated as a player. I'm out of contract. The team's going well, and you really want to be a part of that. It's a little bit scary. Not many people know that I've been struggling a little bit with just a bit of anxiety and, and my mental health, I suppose I should say, and it's very private. The comparison to when I was a player to the current day football environment is very different because the people are very different. The thing that I've realised is I've cared too much about what other people think. The beauty of what we're doing is about celebrating each other. The beauty of what we're doing is about accepting each other and not just the best of us. This is a Collingwood team that has been reborn over the summer. If we can treat each other with that sort of respect and be ourselves entirely, we've already won, boys. We've already won with the way that we go about it.